more on that later. But today we're talking some boat stuff. So you guys saw we got the 88 Seabold Eagle project. Thing, uh, you know, wasn't what we thought it was. We thought we were going to pull it out, get it running, have a good summer of use out of that thing. Yep. And, I mean, we had a good couple trips of use out of that thing, and then we discovered some unfortunate rot in that thing. So that Brutal. thing's under the knife. We're working on that. Mm -hmm. Haven't worked on it in a couple weeks. We need to get back to that. We're at a location that we'll disclose later, but kind of pertains to uh, what we're going to be showing you guys today. So being that the Eagle was down, we still had a lot of summer left that uh, we wanted to be able to get out on the water in not just Michigan, in other places, namely here. Yeah. We talked about this place. We'll tell you what it is later. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyways, guys, long story short, ended up picking up another boat. And this thing is an incredible piece. I'm, uh, I'm very happy with it. Super excited. It's not necessarily what... Uh, what we thought we were going to buy. So it, it needs a little bit of work in uh, some interesting areas. But for the most part, this thing is super nice. Oh, like yeah. Like, it's, uh, it's, it's a beautiful boat. So uh, wasn't what I thought I was going to be getting. But it just made sense to buy it. So right. let's take a little walk and go check this thing out. So when the Eagle went down, my plan was to get something that's pretty much turnkey that didn't need... A lot of work or big projects and this boat honestly uh, is very nice in most areas mm -hmm. uh, it's got a lot of the right things so let's talk about that first um, should I just show them the boat yeah let's, look at the boat? let's do it let's look, look at, at it <laughs> so this is a 1998 27 foot fountain fever so this is a pretty Beautiful. cool boat it's got a single big block in it Bravo one drive uh, so these have a step hole in it. John will tell you all about step holes. That's all yep. he talks about all day. Step holes. I, that's <laughs> all I hear about. What do you want for lunch? Step hole. Oh yeah. What, what are you working on? Step holes. I mean, that's all he does. He loves step holes. So tell him about the step hole. So step hole. Fountain went to this in the later 90s. Uh, more on the bigger boats, but this boat, this was probably around the year that they swapped over to it. Step hole. This is speed. Speed secret. You know? If you got a speedboat, you don't have a speedboat unless it has a step in it. Much wow. faster design. V-Haul, got to have a step in it. That's going to probably cause some controversy. There's got some guys out there that aren't going to like that, but take no. it up with John, not Richard Rules. Yeah. But anyway, so I don't even know the exact hours on this thing. I didn't check. Um, literally, so we're filming this. This video is a mess, guys. I'm going to be completely honest with you. There's a lot filmed at a lot of different times. Oh, yeah. Anyways, purchased this boat three days before we left to go where we are right now. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was very last minute and uh, actually went to check out the boat five days before we left and walked away from it the first time. So it's uh, yeah, quite a, quite a story to get this thing here, but it's super nice. So... Uh, the exterior of this thing, the gel coat, super clean. Yeah. Uh, previous owner had cut and polished this and ceramic coated it a couple years ago. Unfortunately, <laughs> uh, on the way here, we got did in by uh, a Little. junk Chinese tire. Well, Ricky's got the spare off. He's going to do the honors. Yeah, uh, I'd say that that's pretty bad. Yeah. We'll clean that up. That'll be okay. Could have been worse. Yeah, that's not great. Yeah, that was brutal. Yeah, so it's a combination of uh, not the best wheel bearing, and then on top of that, these fenders, yeah, we're just going to have to get rid of those. The fenders, they're, they're cut, and we don't know if it was the fender going into the tire, or the wheel bearing, having it not ride the correct way, but long story short, we have the tire to laminate. Scott was also driving uh, kind of fast, so... I don't know what the speed rating on these are. If we can, if we can see that, uh, it don't matter. He wasn't over the speed rating. <laughs> it don't, no it don't way. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, look at the back of this thing. So, just a super clean boat. It's got the big dog K planes out back. Yeah, super nice. What was nice. this? A twenty six? Was it twenty seven? It's twenty seven. Twenty seven four blade prop, uh, single big block. So. 
It's a 496. I think it started out as 454, stroke to 496. Yep. It's got RHS heads on it. We'll show you guys that when we get this thing uncovered. Mm -hmm. Want to get her uncovered? I probably won't show them that right now. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll hold off on that. So, yeah, this is just a... This just has a really, really clean powerboat look to it. I love the way this thing looks. So, if you go to the front, the fountains have uh, what people call the beak, and it looks different than any other, uh, you know, powerboat. So it kind of swoops up on this angle, a little bit more pointy. Some people don't like it. I think it's really distinct and really cool. Mm -hmm. Big fan of it. Um, it's just, a, I don't know, man. I'm super happy with this thing. A lot of the stuff that I was looking at had the, uh, you know, the 90s themes, a lot of purple, a lot of light green in it, which is cool in its own regard. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you guys know me, I typically just have everything black. And while yeah. this is white, I mean, I think it really uh, is a really cool theme with the checker flag in the back. Yep. It just looks clean. So big fan of that. Black and um, silver. Let's uncover this thing and show you guys what the inside looks like. Yeah, let's do it. Shooter was thinking ahead, brought a ladder. No, actually, my dad was thinking ahead, so my dad came on this trip with us, which is uh, a big thing that I wanted to do this year with the Eagle, is go on a boat trip with my dad. That means a lot to me, and uh, I just wasn't going to let some rotted transom and, you know, junk wood stop from uh, stop that from happening, so bought this boat. End of story. Mm -hmm. So he brought this ladder, thinking ahead. Let's climb up here quick, yeah. get the rest of this thing uncovered. The interior is gorgeous on this thing. So previous owner had a lot of work done on the interior, and uh, it's beautiful. Really like it. Yeah, that black and silver graphic just looks really classy. Good look for sure. Coming up here, got that beautiful fountain logo with the 27. It's a good look for sure. Yeah, I'm not sure what all he had redone. I think the majority, I mean, you can see there's somewhere um like down here but not really a big deal everything is super clean on this if you guys have ever looked at 90s boats there's typically a lot of weather cracking and stuff on the interior and this is all super fresh so it yeah. also has an extremely nice uh kicker sound system in it so it's got uh these speakers there's some in the cuddy as well it's got two tens underneath these rear seats here mm -hmm. sounds clean it's got a punch, Rockford Fosgate, 1,000 amp. Clean unit, honestly. Super clean. So let's get the uh, battery hooked up and uh, show you guys the engine of this thing. Power is on. Go up with the hatch. What a good looking unit. So single big block, obviously. I said it's a 496 cubic inch. Aluminum heads, different intake. Pretty uh, pretty standard build. So, I th what did the dyno say on this? Dyno came out at 532 for horsepower and 568 for torque. Yep. Got Airmotive A1000 fuel pump power in this baby. Pretty respectable. So mm -hmm. we had it out with the uh, previous owner water testing it. We're gonna do a uh, little bit of a video at a later time on what you guys need to do when you're buying a used boat. Mm -hmm. Never, ever. Buy a used boat unless you water test it. Very smart man told me that one time. <laughs> Actually, multiple times. So, Stevie. <clears throat> so, we took this out on the water test. Everything was good with it. Mm -hmm. And I uh, had to come home with it. So, I think uh, what we'll do now is take it out and see how it is. Right. We got Ricky pulling up in his brand new 27 Fountain Fever. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Well, Ricky, you ready to take her out, buddy? What a good day to be out here, man. I'm super excited. Yeah. This is, uh, you and I did the maiden voyage technically already. Mm -hmm. but maiden voyage in Michigan with this thing. We're leaving for Lake Ozarks tomorrow. This is, it's a great day. It's a really great day. Sun's shining. Can't beat it. You I'm... can't beat it. You love to see it. Oh, yeah. Only way you could beat it if it was like 100, but... You know, at Ozarks, it's going to be. Oh, it's so, yeah, yeah, let's take a, take a little peek here. Oh, looking super nice. Well, you happy with the purchase so far? I mean, 
I keep getting more happy with it. So I uh, had Mike in it earlier today. Mm -hmm. He was looking at the sound system. He's like, oh, yes, I want to hear what it sounds like. Mike and I were jamming. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to be jamming out there today. Unfortunately, you guys won't see that, you know, monetization stuff, unfortunately. But mm -hmm. just think about it. You know, just pretend your face is on the side of the boat. There's music playing loudly and you're here. It's going to be a good time. Minor correction. Oh yeah, she's looking good. Wow, Ricky, you look like a pro. difficulties uh we came out once and uh yeah the old drive wasn't going down that's not any good so we went back to the dock and tried jumping the solenoid and stuff and just was not out. working was not working turns out the circuit breaker was blown for it no big deal yeah no, no big problem deal. at all so yeah towards the end of the river we're gonna get out here on the bay a little bit and see what we'll do. yeah open her up let's yeah. do it so we made it back to the shop we got scott in there he's doing some work yeah so let's start it out we're just going to change the oil and fix that uh or change the power steering belt because it was squealing you guys heard that it sounded terror like and we went to get the belt for the power steering off and found that it was only held in by the bolt that you adjust with which is not right so that's considerable further, after further investigation, we found that the pivot bolt just broke off, which is not good, so. Yeah, we got that guy right here. Not great. So we're trying to address that now. Stevie, what's up, man? <laughs> so we're gonna get this figured out. Um, there's a lot of stuff here, so that's good. We'll probably be able to find that bolt slash stud. Yeah, yeah, we need the stud. Uh, come on, minion. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's brutal. That's overall rude. See, we do need the stud. We need the stud. <laughs> All right, yeah, right now, we, so we had to take this pulley off to, uh, to get the power steering belt off because it's wedged in there between the balancer and the separate pulley, which is annoying. But it is what it is, so we're just in here, you know, having fun. Wrenching really. away. Oh yeah, we'll get those belts off, boys. Right, I'll, I'll go grab that stud. All right, thanks. Well, it just so happens there's a lot of perks of uh, working at a marine facility. There is a pump right here, power steering pump. It's got just the stud we need. That guy right there. I think I'll just be able to stick this deep 18 on her. Make sure I'm going the right direction. Yep, lefty loopsy. Oh, perfect. And just like that, we got ourselves the stud. Let's go, boys. So, you guys might be asking, what did you pay for this thing? The boat was 25 grand. And it's not, not a lot of money, because it is, 
but from a boat perspective super cheap especially for a fountain i it's literally the cheapest fountain of this uh age and overall condition size, size that condition. i could find so uh hence the title of this video now you might be asking why'd you get it so cheap so uh unfortunately the achilles heels of 90s early 2000s fountain boats is a transom so you guys might be saying you bought a boat that needs a transom you already have one of those what are you doing so this one is uh nowhere near as bad as the eagle so but it's going to need attention so big problem with the fountains or how they have transom issues uh, lies in the style of the exhaust so you can see that underneath the swim platform everything is sitting pretty low on the boat so the the water line on these is well everything's sitting really close to the water so these exhaust tips unfortunately are uh are not the greatest so you can see here there's a little bit of a gap in between this beauty ring and the actual exhaust and oftentimes what happens is the silicone that's sealing all this stuff up breaks and now you have a gap in between this beauty ring and the exhaust tip and water mitigates its way in there there's exposed wood which is the transom in there mm -hmm. and the wood just acts like a sponge and wicks the moisture yeah wicks the moisture and you get a rotten transom so we took this uh, we took our moisture meter with us when we purchased this thing or when we went to purchase it and it was a little high in certain areas which is indicative of the transom needing attention mm -hmm. uh, same thing with the stringers we check those too and uh yeah it uh it's gonna need some future attention it was right. good enough to take out on this trip and uh probably gonna be good enough until we get the eagle back together then we'll tear this one down yep. and uh, just make it super nice fix everything pro and just have it be a really clean and solid boat which again it is for the most part but i mean We've looked at a couple of these fountains. We have some at our shop. Yep. And uh, you could look at the exterior of a boat and say, this thing looks like it just rolled off the assembly line. And there's still, you know, excessive moisture content in the transom, which is super unfortunate yep. because these boats are, oh, they're so nice. But we, uh, you know, what, what's buying something unless you can, you know, make a project out of it? You always got to mess with stuff. So right. that'll provide more content for you guys. That'll provide us an opportunity to fix this thing right, make it super solid, mm -hmm. and just have a, a piece of equipment that's going to be around for a long time that we all can enjoy. So we're uh, going to get really good at, at uh, fiberglass work. <laughs> we're going to be pros. Yeah. I mean, I'm not super looking forward to another one of these, but, <laughs> you know, it's a good skill to have. So yep. if you guys hadn't guessed... We're at Lake of the Ozarks in Missouri. So we're here for the shootout week. We're all super excited to be Dude, here. We're all super excited so to take awesome. this thing out. This is, uh, you know, we know that a 27 foot boat out here <laughs> is, uh, it's on the smaller end of uh, what you need to be getting around when there's, you know, 3000 horsepower boats just cruising by you at 120. We get that, but this fit the budget. Uh, it's a nice boat. It's going to be super nice for us in Michigan mm -hmm. and you know we're just out here having a good time I'm excited to be out here with this group these guys yeah. have helped me out with a lot of stuff they always show up and happy to be out here with them my dad just having a good time man so it's gonna be a great trip this was uh this was a little stressful making this purchase come together like I said we got <laughs> this thing three days before we left on this trip and had some stuff that we already uh had to address obviously you guys uh, saw that in the video, the power steering pump problem, the belt squealing, all that happy stuff. But yeah, we made uh, it happen though. We did make it happen. We work hard and we're here to have a good time. So that's what we're going to do. So yeah, we're going to head into town now. We got some stuff we're going to pick up for this. And again, we're going to launch this today and hopefully get out on the water and have some fun, make some videos for you guys. So Appreciate your support in this matter, as always. There's going to be a lot of cool videos coming from this trip, so stick around for those. And, well. Get I'm, out on the water. I'm just glad to be here, man. We talked about this for a long time, and we made it happen. So, that's super cool. See you guys in a couple days. Rich rules, baby. Rich rules, yeah. Baby.